It's 11.56 a.m. Pacific Daylight Saving Time on, um, shoot, whatever today is. Monday, ah, uh, shoot. Well, anyway, August something, 2019. I'm on Crater Lake, in Crater Lake. Well, on Wizard Island in the middle of the lake. I'm at the end of the Fumarole Bay Trail and the main chain trail. There's nobody else here right now, so I guess I could get an unobstructed view. Excuse me. It's very pretty along the shoreline there. The water is very shallow, so you can see um, how the bottom is, see how deep it is. The clarity of this water is supposed to be about 80 feet. So if you can see bottom, that probably means it's less than 80 feet deep. Obviously, some parts of it are close to 2,000 feet, so don't try wading or anything here. And they don't allow scuba diving, even though this would be a really cool place to do that. <laughs> There's a buoy out there, I'm not sure why. So I'm just gonna head back on the trail. I'm gonna record the trip, but instead of having the camera face the trail so you can see what dirt looks like, I'm just gonna keep it facing the uh, shoreline across the lake there, mainland. If I can find the trail here. There's only two trails here, you'd think it'd be hard to get lost. <laughs> yeah, well, you never know. Anyway, so they let us stay on the island for three hours at a time. I've been here about an hour and a half, so it is about time to start heading back. Obviously, I don't want to cut it close. They made it a joke that if they had, if I missed it and I stayed later, I'd have to pay a hundred dollars. Honestly, I was thinking of whipping out a hundred dollars, be like, okay, let's do this. <laughs> Pretty sure they wouldn't be happy about that, though. If I sound out of breath, that just means I'm old and out of shape. Plus, the elevation here is thousands of feet. And I've been hiking for a while, so, yeah. I got excuses. Lots of excuses. The rock itself is kind of dull and gray and pointless. But so much pretty trees and then the blue, dark blue and green water. And that green stuff growing on the trees. So over there is where I just was, the end of the trail. I don't see the sign, but I'm sure it's still there. Okay, I'm going to turn the camera forward just a bit. So I think this is the bay, I'm not sure. But if you look across there, there's the trail. So you go around the corner, I think that's where my boat is. Actually, technically there's no boat there right now, but that's the dock where my boat will hopefully show up. Not that I would really care. It's a really nice day. It's like 75 degrees Fahrenheit right now. I got plenty of food and water. If they asked me to stay till seven, I'd be like, okay, if you insist. But yeah, they used to have these tours. You could stay on the island for six hours, but they don't do that anymore. They said it was too hard to keep track of everybody. They didn't want to lose track of somebody and accidentally leave them here or something. It's supposed to be the computer age. We can track gigabytes of data, but we can't track a couple hundred people. Oh well. I guess that's good. I don't really want a big brother to take over the world. Anyway. So, Crater Lake. Most of those um, cliffs there, you're not allowed to attempt to climb up or down. So you're obviously you're not allowed to swim at the bottom there. There's only two places here that you're allowed to swim. That's here on Wizard Island, and then at the boat dock where you catch the boat to Wizard Island. Because by that boat dock is the only place you can legally walk down. I don't see too many places you could attempt to illegally walk down either. The uh, top of the crater here is obviously a bit uneven, but I think the lowest it is is maybe 700 feet. I think a lot of places it's more like 1,200 feet. In fact, if you look at there, the top there, there's a building. 
it's like a fire lookout or something like that so yeah this is a decent sized lake it's roughly circular about six miles in diameter so it's not super big you can see one side from the other but you know here's the buoy here's that little place out there this is another place people like to go swimming I think pretty much anywhere along the island you're allowed to go swimming. No lifeguards, of course. In fact, it was just a week or two ago somebody drowned here, so whoops. It, the water is clear, but it's super cold. It's like freezing cold. In fact, you see that white stuff over there? That's snow. So, yeah. The ranger who brought us here, she said it'd be hard to follow the trail back, but so far I don't think I've gotten lost. Of course, if I was lost, would I know, or I'd be the last one to know. Hmm. Check this out down here. So this is a lagoon or a gulch. I have no idea. Anyway, some kind of indentation in the land. Notice those two steel cables. I have no idea what they're for. I'm gonna ask the ranger. I don't know if it's legitimately to play on or if it's a safety device or what. Nothing really makes sense. Put a couple of big steel cables in the middle of nowhere. But nobody ever said this place made sense. Yeah, see, I can see bottom there clearly. I'm not going to try to touch bottom to let you know if it's three feet deep or 30 feet deep. Either one's plausible. I'm not going to bother to show you my feet. I'm sure you know what feet look like, but um, I'm walking on a legitimate trail here. It's a hiking trail. It's not really good, but it works. A lot easier than not having one, I suppose. Got a lot of loose rocks around here. Be a bit of work trying to just go around any random location. I don't know why every time I exercise I get a runny nose. So I'm walking around here. It's not even that hot. I'm not even working out that hard and my nose is runny. So if you hear sniffing on the camera, don't panic. I'm not dying of the plague or something. Whoops. I missed the trail. Almost slipped down there. Whoops. Yeah, I don't mind the rocks because they usually hold still. It's the... Uh, loose dirt and small gravel pebbles that really get me no traction yeah wow 